Hello friends, uh, in the previous video we have discussed about circular motion or rather uniform circular motion and we said over there that uh, even though it is uniform circular motion, we say it is accelerated motion. Now reason is the velocity, okay speed remains the same but then the velocity at every point in the course of motion that remains uh, that 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 changes it doesn't remain same isn't it because at every point the direction of velocity is tangential so tangential at one point tangential at the other point so you know the direction of velocity keeps on changing and then there has to be if the velocity vector is changing then there has to be some acceleration and we say that this acceleration is centripetal or center seeking acceleration okay now we you know we did some um, uh, some some basic operations over there you know something like rate of change of velocity and then that was coming to be v is equal to r omega or then acceleration was coming to be a acceleration is equal to v into omega so linear velocity multiplied by angular velocity that gives you uh, linear acceleration which is centripetal acceleration but then in this video we are going to uh, you know uh, get a few things uh, in in little more details or maybe little clarity on acceleration right let us start this is the circular path okay of radius r this is my position vector at point a and then in let us say in time t or in time delta t delta t is a very small interval of time there is some angular displacement of delta theta over here okay and my particle moves from point a here to point b here correct so now position vector now o is my uh, uh, center and i take center as origin and my second vector is ob bar okay position vector is ob bar it is uniform circular motion and the angular speed is omega okay now at point a at point a the velocity is let us say it is v1 velocity vector is v1 bar okay and at point b it is again tangential and let us call it v2 bar okay so what is happening is as the particle moves from point a to point b the angular displacement is delta theta time taken is delta t and velocity vector changed from v1 bar to v2 bar it is uniform circular motion so what i can say here is modulus of v1 bar is equal to modulus of v2 bar and that is equal to let us call it v okay so linear speed is v all right now we have to find the you know expression for acceleration linear acceleration or the centripetal acceleration what we were calling okay uh, i am going to do little construction geometric construction here uh, this vector v bar okay i'll just draw this vector v bar as this okay so v1 bar okay now v2 bar is making an angle with uh, uh, with v1 bar correct so i'll start that vector v2 bar from here okay so this is v2 bar now uh, i call this point p this point is q and this point is r okay my pq bar is v1 bar and pr bar is v2 bar okay now one thing you can see here if you shift this vector v1 bar at point b okay what would be the angle between v1 bar and v2 bar would it not be delta theta right so this angle is delta theta okay so now what we know is mod of v1 bar equal to mod of v2 bar is equal to v so length of pq is v length of pr is also v and okay this is my initial velocity and this is my final velocity so can i not say that qr bar okay this qr bar is the change in velocity isn't it so this is my delta v delta v bar i would say correct so my v1 bar plus delta v bar is equal to v2 bar correct so if i 
take this delta v. I I keep delta v bar on one side and take v one bar on the other side. So v two bar minus v one bar is equal to delta v bar, isn't it? So this delta v bar is the change in velocity. Okay, change in velocity, isn't it? And uh, now what has happened here? This delta v bar is happening in time delta t, correct? Now little more um i wouldn't say really assumption but this angle delta theta and time delta t they are very 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 small infinitesimally small so what happens i can consider this qr as arc of a circle having radius v can we say that we can say that so i can say v uh i can say length of arc that is delta v is equal to radius which is v into angle that is delta theta i have mentioned that here so delta theta here okay i divide both the sides by delta t delta v upon delta t is equal to v delta theta upon delta t my delta t is infinitesimally small my delta v is infi infinitesimally small delta theta is infinitesimally small so actually this time delta t it is so small that it is approaching zero okay i am going to take limit of this as delta t tends to zero so limit of right hand side also as delta t tends to zero and then limit of delta v upon delta t as delta t tends to zero is it not my acceleration now v magnitude of velocity is constant so v delta theta by delta t so it is v into delta theta upon delta t limit as delta t tends to zero that is nothing but my angular velocity isn't it so that is how we get uh, the expression for acceleration acting on a particle performing uniform circular motion and we say i say that this acceleration is directed towards center okay hmm now let us you know try to um, try to think about it or maybe let us try to visualize a few things this arc ab okay for you i have drawn it very large but then you know i say delta t or delta v okay delta theta these are very 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 small quantities correct so if my delta v tends to zero then how would the acceleration act would it not act directly towards the center of the circle yes there is every reason for us to believe in that okay and i say that this acceleration is radial or it is it it acts along the radius and towards the center correct so that's all in this video we are going to actually prove that this acceleration really acts along the radius and towards the center till then hold on thank you so much